struggling with constant distractions while working on your Mac or iPhone, or maybe you want to make sure your child isn't visiting certain websites, you try setting limits but they're too easy to bypass, settings feel hidden, and everything just resets itself. In this video, I'll show you how to block any website in Safari using the built-in tools on your Mac and iPhone, so you can stay focused and take full control of what's accessible. Click the Apple menu and open System Settings. In the sidebar, scroll down and click Screen Time. Under Screen Time, click Content and Privacy. Turn on the toggle for Content and Privacy as shown on the screen. Now click App Store, Media, Web and Games. Scroll to the Safari section. Next to Access to Web Content, select Limit Adult Websites from the drop-down. Click the Customize button that appears under the Restricted section. Click the plus button. Enter the website URL you want to block, for example, www.facebook.com. It's blocked. You'll get a message saying the page is restricted. Open the Settings app, scroll down and tap Screen Time, tap Content and Privacy Restrictions, toggle Content and Privacy Restrictions to On, tap Content and Privacy Restrictions, and now click App Store, Media, Web and Games, then Web Content. Scroll down and tap Web Content, you will see three options, Unrestricted, Allows Access to All Websites, Limit adult websites automatically. Under Always Allow, you can add safe sites. Under Always Allow, you can add safe sites like www.conacademy.org. Under Never Allow, tap Add Website and enter a URL you want to block. For example, type www.reddit.com to block Reddit completely. Only approved websites blocks all websites except the ones you list manually. Open the settings app, screen time, scroll down. <laughs> Turn on share across devices. Now block once and it works everywhere. One change equals synced protection. On Mac, screen time, scroll to bottom, toggle on share across devices so that's how to block websites on safari no apps no hacks just the built-in power of your apple device and now you've seen how to do it both on mac and iphone step by step like and subscribe for more informative content like this see you in the next one